Martin is exploring the sequence of numbers given by the rule 3n squared minus 2n plus 1. Okay, so Martin is thinking of a number sequence, and the number sequence is formed by applying this rule 3n squared. So this is a quadratic number pattern. Give the number, give the rule for finding the difference between the two consecutive numbers. Consecutive numbers are numbers coming one after the other. So let us first make the number sequence and then see the difference. So this is n, this is the uh, 3, the number sequence, so 3n squared minus 2n plus 1. And yeah, okay, so let us first start with 1. So when it is 1, it is 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 1. So I hope you can understand So this is 3 minus 2, which is, so first you have to use the exponent first. So 3 times 1 squared is 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, so when n is 2, this is 3 times 2 squared. You can use a calculator. Minus 2 times 2. So in place of n, we are substituting 2. So 3, minus, 3 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 1. I'm just substituting uh, 2 in place of 1. N. So this is this is 4. You have to simplify this first. So 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay, so when n is 3, <coughs> this is 3 times 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 1. So let us do this uh, without the calculator. You can use a calculator. So this is 3 times first. I will simplify the exponent. 3 times 9 is 27, take away 6 is 21, plus 1 is 22. So when n is 4, when n is 4, this is 3 times 4 squared minus 2 times 4 plus 1. Okay, so this is 3 times 16, which is 48, minus 8 is 40, plus 1 is 41. So let me do the last, which is 5. So here, this is 3 times 5 squared minus 2 times 5 plus 1. So, so this is 3 times 25, which is 75. 75 minus 10. This is minus. So this is 25 times 3 is 75 minus 10 is 65. Plus 1 is 66. So this is a very interesting number pattern. So let us see what's interesting here. If you take the difference of this two, two plus what gives you two plus what gives you nine, which is seven. Okay, two plus seven is and uh, nine plus what is twenty-two. Nine plus thirteen is twenty-two. I want you to see a pattern there. Twenty-two plus what is forty-one. Twenty-two plus uh, nineteen is forty-one. And 41 plus what is 66? This is uh, uh, 20. Okay, this is uh, tw uh, here the difference. Uh, am I right here? Yeah. So this is 75, 65 plus 1. So this is, yeah, so let's see the difference. So the second difference, this is called the first difference. I was, I'm, bit, I'm getting a bit confused here. So this is plus 6. This is plus 6. So this is plus 25. Yes, I was thinking right. So this is 25. Okay, 41 plus 25 is 66. So can you see the second difference is constant. The second difference is constant, which is 3. And this, and this, this number pattern is called a quadratic pattern. And this 6 that we have got as the second difference is related to this 3, which is the coefficient of n squared. Okay, so just that is just uh, how to figure out whether it's a quadratic pattern. We already know this is a quadratic pattern, but if you didn't know the formula, if you have only the number pattern, you can figure out the number pattern. Now, the question is not to figure out the number pattern. We want to find the difference between the numbers. So let us write 
in the next column let us write the difference let us write the difference so the difference we have already written the difference is 7 you got 13 19 and 25 this is the difference so they're asking us whether you can write this as a for uh, as a as a rule give the rule for this so to find the rule the this you have to find the common difference here the common difference as i just explained is six here okay so if n we want to write this as n well how is six and seven related so i want to use uh, look at whether you can relate 6 and 7, 6 and 12, 6 and 18. So if suppose n, n is these numbers. So, well, I can say 6 times, 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1. So can I write like this? So I'm going to say that 7. Can I write 7 as 6 times n plus 1? So no, instead of n, can I write 6, 7 is 6 times 1 plus 1. Uh, 13, I can write 6 times 2 plus 1. 19 is 6 times 3 plus 1. Can you see a pattern they're developing? 25, 25 is 6 times 4 plus 1. So if this number, let me underline these numbers, if this is say, this is changing, this is changing. So if this is n, the f general formula for this would be 6n plus 1. The, the formula, the rule for the difference would be 6n plus 1, where n is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Okay, now if you want to show this, if you want to, if you plot these numbers, uh, on a graph. So the numbers are 6, 13. Uh, so let us plot these numbers. So this is a graph. The number that we had was, and the first difference was 7. So if you plot 7, so when n is 1, it is 7. Okay, this is 7. So when this is a n, and this is the difference. Okay, when n is 1, say if you stay, say n is 1, it is 7. So this is 8. So I should take 7 somewhere. Yeah, it is. This is this is 6. So this is 7. Yeah. The next is 13. Am I right? So let us remember 6, 7, 13, 19, 25. So 7. When n is 1, it is 7. When n is 2, it is 13. Okay. When n is 3, it is 19. And when n is 4, it is 25. Can you see this is a straight line? And if you join this by a straight line, can you see this is a straight line? Okay. And if you extend this line, where will this hit? This will hit 1. And that's where the formula came. So this is not exact. So I hope you understand. So let me move this slightly. So yeah, this is the rate, this is, uh, let me move this slightly down. So this is 6n plus 1. The formula that we gave was 6n plus 1. Okay, so my, so yeah, this will hit, this will hit 1, yeah. Hopefully you can understand. Okay, so this is 6n plus 1. So yeah, the, the rate in, this is, this is increasing by 1, and this is increasing by 6. Okay, so here the gradient of this line is 6. I hope you can see the gradient. Gradient is 6, and the y-intercept is 1. And that's why the formula is 6n plus 1.